Hi guys, welcome back to Impossible. Next up, I have Aquarius. Thank you for your patience. Okay, happy holidays. Um, you know, for those of you who celebrate Christmas, okay, um, I don't really celebrate the holidays. I mean, I feel that this is a pagan holiday. <laughs> and I'm not really in the holiday spirit, neither are y'all. Okay, so I had like a very disturbing dream. Some of you guys are having problems um, in a dysfunctional household, toxic household, where you're not getting along with your significant other, there's children involved. Um, I see that you guys want to move to a bigger place. Um, in my dream, it was like clutter um, with a partner that you can't grow with, trying to find a way out. Um, yeah, so um, I will give you the signs that was in my dream. It was a Cancer, Aries, Pisces, Taurus, Aquarius, and who else? And a Virgo. Okay. Yes. Um, so you may be dealing with any one of those signs, okay? I don't like, so, but it's just the dream in general. The number that was in the dream was 666. Some of you guys are losing faith out there. Some of you guys are studying to be Jehovah Witnesses or was studying to be a Jehovah Witness. Some of you guys may have came from that background, a religious background, because there were religious people in my dream, okay? Also, um, it was pertaining to like uh, legal issues, child support, custody, uh, you know, just, with a partner that you can't grow with or in a household that's you know like clutter you know um it's like it's just dysfunctional so it's time to clear you know cleanse your space and clear okay because i feel like you guys are not moving forward you guys feel stagnated at this time but you guys are not you guys are giving up hope and faith okay you guys really are all right um i don't want to go too in depth in that dream but it was like it was a dream that we have to get down to the bottom of this, okay? Confusion, you know, battling over kids, and, you know, yeah, okay? Some of you guys may love to eat a cup of noodle soup as well, all right? Uh, some of you guys may be having an allergic reaction. Be careful with what you eat, like a rash breaking out, all right? So be careful with your skin at this time, all right? Or skin products and stuff like that, okay? Yes, um, yes, there is, uh, you know, this is not so much about love, but there is love re-entering in your life, a, re a reconciliation. Some of you guys are moving forward. Um, you, you guys are not waiting, but this right here is like you guys are going through difficulty. Money, scarcity, uh, losing your job, not having a job, um, you know, family um, turn their back on you. Just all type of shit you're going through right now, and you just don't feel like you're getting ahead okay so i'm going to give you some uplifting um all my readings are going to be based off of bible verses so i'm not going to give you the bible verse um uh, for your reading um you're just going to see it with the title okay but trust me it's going to coincide with this reading all right so let's just get down to the bottom of you the most important thing here is you it's not about love it's not it's about you your faith the process because some of you guys are still going through a spiritual awakening and it's rather difficult understandable you're gonna go through mood changes you feel like you're in a hamster wheel over and over you guys are exhausted tired i was gonna do the reading yesterday actually i did but i'm not gonna post it because i was tired exhausted you, you guys are up in your head overthinking things it's like you know like really really drained okay and spiritually drained low vibrational at this time okay so i'm redoing your video today okay um Although that video was good, but Spirit said no. Let's do it again, okay? Because I was energetically low, and I couldn't come to terms. I couldn't bring my energy up. So I'm feeling a little bit more vibrant today, but still that energy lingers, okay? Yes. So we're going to get down to, because there's a karmic as well that's interfering, like trying to fuck with your energy. There is somebody that wants you back, a narcissist. You're not taking that motherfucker back. Some of you guys have kids with a narcissist, okay, and battling with that. It's, it's, it was a lot of shit in my dream, okay? But you're going to get, trust me, you're going to be abundant. There's a lot of money coming your way, a lot of blessings, a lot of miracles. You don't see it yet. We just still, we still wrapping things up, 2022, but come 2023, bang, I'm telling you, trust me. Okay. Yes. So 666 was in a dream. Again, some of you guys are losing faith. You need to be prayer warriors out there. This is why all my readers, because it's not only your sign that's losing faith or yes. Okay. Remember, this is a test to build your endurance. 
all right? To build your faith and endurance, to make you stronger, like I said before. But you guys are like, oh, this is the energy, all right? So let's go, Aquarius, let's go, let's go, let's go, all right? High vibrational. Okay, let me pick your six angels, and I'm going to get down to the bottom of what I'm seeing because you guys definitely need to clean your energy. Some of you guys are still thinking about that black magic or just negative things. It's like real negative energy I'm picking up right now. Giving up faith, giving up hope, like, oh, things are not going to work out, and really feeling sad and disappointed about things, and no, 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 no. You're entering in a new phase, okay? Everybody's going through time moments. It's just a test. Who's more powerful? Who's more powerful, humans or God? Who's more powerful? In all your readings, is God's plan, but some of you guys are still low vibrational, so let's go. I'm going to show you. What's coming to you? 47. Some of you guys may be 47 years old, but 47 is 11. Ascended Masters are with you at this time. Some of you guys are pregnant. Some of you guys uh, go by a pronoun. Okay? Some of you guys are worried about fertility. Some of you guys want children out there and worried about if you could get pregnant. Okay? Some of you guys may be dealing with an Aries because this is an Aries. But it's all about action and being bold. Right? Yes. And loving oneself and embracing. Look. Embracing the embracing life and the little things, right? Gratitude, showing gratitude, like thank you for life, thank you, you know, beauty, seeing the beauty in things, right? Which is life. So every day is a new day to start over. Okay? Yes, you may be feeling low and things are not as it seems. But believing without seeing, that is the key. Right? Okay. Yahuya, angel of willpower and new beginnings. Bam. What I was just talking about. What I was just talking about, okay? Motivation, ambition, new start, aspirations, new projects, attaining goals. So, yeah, but if you're sorrowful and you're doubting yourself and you're doubting the higher ups and spirits and God, what are you doing? You're bringing, you're bringing in, you're feeding the negative energy. You're feeding it, okay? Because some of you guys are like feeling like, oh, you know, what am I going to do? I'm not going to ever move forward. No, this angel is giving you the willpower, the strength to keep, because there are new beginnings ahead. You have a new start. Hold on. One second, guys. Okay. Yahuya, finding beauty in everything. So even though there's chaos around you, difficulty, just say, God, I know you have a way. I know that this is just a test. It's building my strength. I need to keep going. Perseverance, right? I know at the end of the day, I cast my cares upon you. And I know at the end of the day, all will be well. Everything will be restored. You will, right? Okay? So, I infuse you with creative passion and energy to start and successfully complete new projects. So some of you guys have started your projects and not successfully completing them. Or some of you guys are just sitting down on ideas and saying, Psh, I don't feel like it. Procrastination. No. It says, Amazonite, today's the day and success. Yes. You guys are going to be very successful and abundant. You are. Let's keep going. I'm telling you, I see it. You guys don't see it. You guys are just giving up faith, hope, throwing in the towel. That's not Aquarius. That's not Aquarius. Yeah, okay, you may be feeling disappointed. You can't let love or family members or job or suck-ass people fuck up your energy and what you focused on because you guys are losing focus again. Okay? All right? Fuck that person and fuck those people. Is about your life and your purpose and what you're here for and what you're here to do for humanity, right? The right person will come. The right opportunities will come. Just keep going. Today is the day, okay? And Sunday starts a new week, right? Okay, 40. Some of you guys may be 40 years old out there, Sagittarius. Some of you guys may have rising moon of Venus and Aries. Aries or Sagittarius. But Sagittarius is all about action, right? Being bold, being brave, speaking your truth. Going after what you want. 
Ad Nacio, Angel of Independence, being entrepreneurs, just moving to that new state by yourself or that new apartment, but everything coming aligned. This is all, it, this is, everything that's happening in your life is all aligned for your greater good. So no, again, never question, just keep going and have faith and stay prayed up. Freedom, spiritual growth, right, spiritual awakening. Guys still going through it. That's okay. Keep going. Light, power, enhanced pineal gland, wisdom, exploration. I help open the door to freedom in all areas of life through spiritual enlightenment and the discovery of truth. Right? What's the truth? It's your truth. It's your truth. Walking in your truth and your light. Speaking your wisdom. Sharing your wisdom. Right? So these tests or whatever you're going through is to is to um, build your your wisdom, your character, everything, and hope and faith. Bronzonite, November, and big changes. Huge changes are on the way. Huge changes. Some of you guys may be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius. Forty-two. Some of you guys may be forty-two years old out there. Forty-two is six. Four is domesticated matters. So forty is four. So domesticated matters. But look at all these numbers. But domesticated matters um, in terms of your household. What's more important? Responsibility. And that's what I was dreaming about. Dysfunctional household. Toxic family. You know, can't move forward, and things just crumbling down around you, and you don't. You're not happy with where you at. You know, but you feel like you don't have enough money to move forward. It's just a lot. A lot. I feel this energy like crying out to God, like, please help me, but not believing. You see? 42. Some of you guys may be 42, 24. Zafkiel, angel of contemplation. A lot of deep, see? Up in your head again. But stay prayed up. Meditate. Say your affirmations. Okay? But uh, again, deep contemplation going on here with you. I'm stuck. I'm not moving forward. What's happening? But you see, with the light, with the yellow, I see things being illuminated. A bright future ahead. So get get out your head. Okay? Write, write it down. Get a journal and write it down. Raise this vibration. See? Get outside. Even It's freezing outside in New York. Get outside. Open the window. Catch some air. <laughs> you understand? Okay, but raise your vibration. Raise this vibration. Emotional and spiritual growth. Again, spiritual growth. Yes, you're going through the spiritual journey. Do you think it was fucking going to be easy? No, it's not. Especially if you're a chosen one. It's definitely not going to be easy. And and look, the universe, God, is always going to um, send obstacles in your way if you haven't learned the lesson. Right? So if you have people holding you back, let's take love, for instance. Love is the number one thing that holds people back in life, waiting for someone, loving someone, and neglecting their self, right? But guess what? That lesson is going to repeat. If you don't cut the cords with that person or you don't let it go, you're going to repeat the cycle. You're never going to move forward. And the spiritual journey is going to be ongoing and ongoing because you have to pass one test first to go to, the, to another test. Throughout life, you're going to always be tested. See? So once you reach one, one level, you're going to always ascend. <laughs> the lessons the lessons are never easy, but it's rewarding in the end. Okay? So if you're not happy at a job, what are you doing about it? If you're not happy in that relationship, what, are you, what the fuck are you doing about it? Are you scared? You know, there are options out there that you can go or apply for apartments, get the financial help to move. Okay? They, it, because some of you guys are in domestic violence situations as well. Okay? reach out to domestic violence shelters and you know there are ways to help yourself or just opening up your own organization that project that you've been sitting on you know being productive these are the times when you are at your lowest point these are the times that you work hardest right when you don't have anything nothing <laughs> think of it that way you have nothing and some of you guys don't but what are you doing about it okay yes you're praying about it but action 
What action are you taking? What actions are you taking towards fulfilling your goals? Are you really hustling or are you giving up? Okay? Meditation. Understanding and confidence. Understand that this is just an obstacle that you need to, that you need to, that a test that you need to pass. So, do you understand the test? Are you confident and bold and strong enough to, to leave that situation or cut those ties? Or You understand? Okay? But it's all about moving forward with confidence and strength. No matter how much you love and care for someone. Because, again, love is the number one thing that holds people back. All right? But it doesn't matter how much you love somebody. You have to cut those ties if they're not meeting you halfway. Okay? Because they're delaying, they're standing in your spiritual growth to move on to the next level. All right? It may hurt like hell, yes, but sorry, I love me first. Okay? I provide insight to aid spiritual growth and help you find words to accurately express feelings, emotions, and ideas. Now moment, now again, now moment, today's the day, and now moment, meditate. Tanzanite. All right? Some of you guys are manifesting. Some of you guys are still hopeful about a connection or... But it's not about... This is about you. You. Okay? You. Hold on, guys. to open my window earlier my fire alarm was like going off got kind of cold in here okay Zacario 46 is 10 oh again going through the phases you're about to begin a new phase, new beginnings, willpower. So pray on it because your spirit guides give you the willpower and the strength to keep moving forward. All right? To so like, hey, and give you the signs and symbols. Right? But are you paying attention to the red flags? Or are you just put, uh, putting in any effort? What are you doing? The question lies within you and your situation as to what necessary measurements are you taking to pass the test whatever test that may be for you guys out there because everyone is going through different tests but the dream i had was relationship love narcissist piles and piles of boxes in a in a in a studio like you guys were like cluttered and it was like uh, like like that but with the jehovah witness in my dreams you guys are losing faith and and you need your spiritual food. You guys are not staying prayed up. You guys are losing faith, losing hope, just giving up. Okay? Yes. So you guys may be 46, 64. But Zachario, angel of the apocalypse. Restores the spirit. Reveals your attachments. Reveals your attachments. Protects children. So your children are well protected. Again, I told you there was complication with kids in my dream and stuff like that. But your children, I'm telling you, you're gonna get, you're gonna be winning cases. Your children, everything is gonna be restored. But right now, it's just a test that you have to pass, whatever that may be. Reveals your attachments. What are you attached to? What can't you let go to move forward? Heals emotions. Again, you guys are very emotional out there. And courage. What I told you all this time give you the courage and strength to move forward to cut those cords okay i reveal truth guide humanity through times of, up, of upheaval and bring souls to god for judgment what i just said everything is going to work in your favor i wouldn't concern myself with it now the great revealing and hematite 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 <laughs> okay yes but give you the courage and the strength to do what you need to do okay 
you know what your test is and you know what you need to do okay so just fucking do it Aquarius shake it up and get out your fucking head shake it off I meant to say yes it's difficult but with God anything is possible right there's things that you need to change in your life 29 11 again some of you guys may be dealing with a Scorpio but again angel of symbols and dreams are you paying attention what I just said are you paying attention to the synchronicities are you paying attention to your dreams the symbols everything that they're sending you at this time to let you know that they're with you through this these hard times okay life lessons <laughs> everything I was just saying you gotta learn the lesson to build your wisdom you have a big you have a big mission here Aquarius we all do okay yes emotional connection there you go your attachments visions clear cognates speaks through signs when you feel stuck and need guidance ask me for dreams to give you clarity on what course of action to take amethyst one month and look for a sign okay amethyst is your birthstone okay for some of you guys it's february okay but aquarius is amethyst one more and michael what is this okay you guys are definitely going through the trans wow you guys are definitely going through the transformation but michael is with you protector michael defender and protector of earth reveals truth restores faith see reassurance strength courage resolve cutting cords everything i was just saying everything i was just saying one is all about you it's not about anybody else the right people are going to come into your life when you when the time is right when you pass the test when you learn your lesson call on me when you feel afraid lonely in despair or in need of courage and protection sunday which is today sapphire and trust trust in the process trust in god trust in your spirit guides trust that this is all for your good okay yes so you pick one more okay one more angel and then i'm gonna go on to see what's going on around you The beauty, well, 15. Look at that. Bright future. Look, transformation. Pay attention to your dreams and symbols and your whispers in the air. Stepping out as a new person. Look at this. Bright. Beautiful. Sophia, the beauty of God. You ready to see the beauty of God show out in you? But the beauty of God. God is surrounding you right now. Sending you a message. Your, your um, angels, spirit guides are all around you at this time. Appreciate beauty, follow your bliss, joyful fulfillment. Live authentically, patron of the art, patron of artists. Expand your consciousness by taking time to appreciate beauty and revel in the lusciousness of all creation. Four to six months, very likely, calcite. Okay. 15 is six. So I said uh, six, so we ended it with six. 15 is six, okay. All right, some of you guys may be 29, 30, 32, 56, 59, 69. All right, yeah, you see? First card I see. Some of you guys may be dealing with somebody that's very immature, childish, you have a child with this person. Okay, this person is uh, still living in the 3D. Okay, um, again, they're stagnating you. This person um, uses manipulation to try to get over on you, but yeah, you know, play games with your kid. Okay, yeah, you're very guarded right now, but you're well protected at the same time. Some of you guys may carry a gun. Or you Yeah, you're fired. Some of you guys may have lost a job, but termination, putting an end to things and people and places. Yeah.
yeah, somebody's lying here. I'm gonna find out who that is. But somebody's definitely lying. They may be lying in court, lying on you, uh, spreading false rumors about you, lying to you. But they, you definitely have a liar. But truths are going to be revealed. It kept coming out. Okay? And judgment. God. You know? Mm. Don't worry. Yeah, childish came out. Somebody's definitely catfishing you here. Okay? Black magic. But you're not taking that. Somebody is lying, childish, holding a grudge against you. Again, playing kids with you, lying in court. But everything is going to be revealed. And they're going to have to answer to God. Yeah, mutes. But you're an inspiration to many. Some of you guys may be models out there, beautiful bodies, photographers. Okay? Yes. Somebody loves your body. You're, in a, in, you're an inspiration to many. You're manifesting at this time. Again, I picked that up as well. Some of you guys may be manifesting what you want, your what you desire, but manifesting someone as well as somebody manifesting you. Okay, some of you guys may be addicted to drugs, so your lesson is to stop using drugs. Some of you guys may, be, may have been hospitalized, but you definitely are upgrading. Okay, something around New Year's is going to happen to you. Sexual fantasies, pay attention to the signs and symbols at this time. Okay, yeah, but you're definitely upgrading. Somebody desires you, sexual fantasies, pay attention to the signs and symbols, but definitely New Year's. Some of you guys, because New Year's is right around the corner, new beginnings, I'm telling you, okay? I'm telling you. Yeah, hidden truth is going to be exposed. We're going to find out who it is. Yeah, spreading rumors about you. Again, toxic family situation, but be gra be grateful for whatever you have. Even if you don't have enough, stay prayed up and be grateful, okay? Because some of you guys are homeless and have nothing at this time. But some of you guys are in a toxic family where children are involved and it's chaotic and you want out, but you feel like you don't have enough. You feel uh, like um, scarcity, okay? But, but but again, yeah, you need to get out. But yeah, somebody's spreading rumors about you, lying on you. But this is going to be quite interesting. Yeah. Yeah, somebody's catfishing you here. Yeah, black magic in reverse. So it went back to the person already who did the black magic on you. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, somebody has submerged emotions. Uh, for you at this time i'm gonna find out like sexual fantasy serve submerge emotions wow but a lot of self-reflection going on here with you be careful with altercation okay at this time because i do see somebody's significant other uh confronting you but i do see you getting into arguments again domestic violence or people at work or family just getting into shit with people because you guys are at the breaking point um yeah Okay, but a lot of self-reflection going on here because you're still going through your spiritual awakening process. Yes, there is a mirror energy coming in towards you guys at this time, a twin flame, like I said, but this is all about you. So mirroring, mirror, mirroring energy is the same as self-reflection, right? I, took, I take the two of cups and, you know, the lovers. I take it as introspection, self-reflection, self-examination, self-development, like that. So, yeah, but definitely a mirror soul is coming in towards you guys. Okay, yes. Yeah, but you need to put an end to things first. So but the dead card in self-reflection is out with the old and with the new. So you're shedding skin at this time, okay? You're going through your transformation at this time and stepping out as a new person. Is Yes, it's rather difficult, but, okay, yes. Uh, yeah. Angel numbers. Again, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. Go play the lotto. Yeah, somebody's obsessed with you here and getting tower readings on you as well. Some of you guys may be tower readers, but yeah. Okay, all right. Okay. Hey, you got a lot of shit going on here. Okay, so let's start with the hidden truth and the lying. Let's get down to the bottom of this, guys. All right, but definitely uh, with judgment, people are getting their karma, as you can see. Judgment is a sign of um, Sagittarius Scorpio. So is the death, the death card is Scorpio. So you may be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Scorpio, but all about rebirth and change, right? Going through that transformation. But it's somebody here that can't let go of your energy. And I did feel this, but I want it to be about you. But we're gonna I'm gonna touch bases on everything. Okay. So let's see who's this lying and hiding or hidden truth. Okay. This person may have blonde hair. 
this person may be a business person as well wear a business suit this person may work in the law um be some type of lawyer or you know judicial system but corporate somebody that works for corporate all right yes uh you may got you you guys may have blonde hair all right yeah wow ultimate betrayal oh wow three of swords and also damn first two cards i see somebody may have put you in a third party situation somebody may have betrayed you to the ultimate like i mean ultimate um made you feel like you're with the only one uh yeah i have to get more cards here but this is ultimate betrayal heartbreak ultimate betrayal it could be family lying on you it could be a lover lying on you it could be co-workers it could be your child's father child's mother let's see juggling back and forth on what to do this could be work related to work okay a group of people but it's a group of people okay that's behind this that's lying on you they're working together against you okay yes with the two of pentacles and three of pentacles that's the five of pentacles all right so again feeling lack again you guys are like feeling lack of out in the cold homeless giving up hope you feel like you have nobody in the corner this may be somebody that ghosted you okay as well with the two and the three of pentacles five of pentacles somebody that ghosted you okay for some or left you for somebody else or it's just leave you confused as to where you guys uh how you guys are going to work this thing out uh you may have found out about a third party situation that somebody was seeing somebody at work okay or had you in a third you know yes you may have been dealing with somebody at work all right but let's see where this goes but with the three of pentacles i take this as people working against you more than one people working against you okay lying lying on you but their truth are going to be revealed this could be co-workers as well but they're working against you they're going to be heartbroken in the end yeah death card ha 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 okay but this phase is coming to an end i told you they're going to be heartbroken this phase is coming to an end tell me why yeah knight of cups because you're gonna get what you deserve you're gonna get what you deserve yeah because see look look at this another pentacle and i'm gonna tell you something here with the death card you guys are putting an end to this heartbreak and this deceit from this person because you know that they're lying you you know you know that they're lying this person is again if you don't if you haven't found out the truth this person is possibly see, seeing somebody else it's a third party situation okay which leaves you very leaves you very cold your queen of K, uh queen of swords king of swords energy very cold okay yes but you're gonna be leaving them out in the cold now with the death card and the tables are gonna reverse because although you're heartbroken and this person broke your heart numerous of times with the ten of swords numerous of times with the ten of swords lied to you to see you know had you back and forth had you back and forth back and forth now with the death card and the knight of cups right is learning to love yourself again learning to pour that love into yourself again going through your rebirth and going through their transformation and learning to love yourself again it's baby steps okay rebuilding yourself you see rebuilding yourself so you're gonna go from the nine to a pentacles and the seven of pentacles you're gonna go from the nine of pentacles right rebuilding yourself to this single abundant um, because yes, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose out on stuff, right? Lose a relationship. Lose. Fuck them. They didn't belong in your corner anyway. But by you putting the love into yourself, you're gonna be rebuilding yourself to the nine of pentacles, single, abundant, fruitful, reaping what you sow, beautiful, handsome, smelling good. You're not even gonna give a fuck about a care in the world about people talking to you. Nothing, right? Because now you you again learning how to put that love into yourself. And you're going to go from the Nine of Pentacles, right, 
to the Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and Three of Pentacles, to everything being restored. Somebody coming in to work with you, to build with you, build an empire with you. Let's see who this is, but everything is going to be restored in due timing, but it takes time. This is what I'm saying. So first, learning to love yourself, ending this, putting it. Uh, and yes, you're going to be heartbroken. This person stabbed you multiple times, so you're going to have to take time to heal. But learning to relove yourself again and put it into your work. And you are, right? And then you're going to go from seven to nine, right? Single and abundant. Some of you guys are already single and abundant. And then you're going to go from nine to ten of pentacles. Married, building your empire and legacy together with somebody new. Or just by yourself. Okay? Just by yourself for some of you guys. But this also speaks of collaborating with the right people and the right people coming into your life. And I do see you guys building your empire either by yourself or a new love is coming in. But I do see a new love coming in. Okay? But just take your time at this time. Because you guys are still going through the spiritual journey and it's not easy for you guys. I mean, three of swords, ten of swords... But it's all going to reverse back to this person. All right. So the signs I'm picking up is Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I got all signs here. But mainly uh, Scorpio and Scorpio. The death card. Mainly Scorpio. All truth will be revealed. And they're going to get their judgment. Remember what the angel said. Okay? And it's, it's, it's a lot of them. It's people working against you. But you're going to get vindicated. You're, again. Okay? So, who's more powerful than God? You have to take this and keep working. Yes, it's fucking painful. Yes, it is. But I didn't know Aquarius were weak people. I didn't know Aquarius let people play the play them like a fucking yo-yo. Or p pull their heartstrings. Hmm? Okay, so we're going to put lion back. Okay, signs and symbols. Pay attention. You're going through the awakening process. You're going through a re rebirth with water. You may be dealing with a water sign. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, but purification. Right? Okay. Some of you guys may need a tower reading, all right? But judgment, karma, don't worry about it. What did Zachariel said? I reveal truth, guide humanity through times of up, upheaval, and bring souls to God for judgment. And this is judgment. Some of you guys may like to wear the gray look or have sleeves on both arms. Snake, a dragon, um, born in the year, the dragon, your hands, your nails, love black nail polish. Okay, but have like sharp nails, like claw nails. Okay, yes. But definitely somebody's getting a tie reading on you. I'm going to pull cards on all of this. All right, so obsessed catfish. Let's get with, let's, let's get this first. Put childish back. Oh, you're manifesting. Pay attention to your thought process because you're manifesting at this time. Six of Pentacles. Hold on. This is somebody that that's looking at you because six of pentacles let me get another card yeah you see nine of pentacles there you go all right six of pentacles nine of pentacles this is somebody that sees you abundant sees you very generous very kind to others um you know um humane um very down-to-earth kind of individual um caring loving supportive of others okay um this person didn't see your value before 
for some of you guys. This person wants to come in and make you a generous offer to balance out, you know, to even out the scales with you because this person may have been breadcrumbing you once upon a time. Now, for others, this may be somebody brand new, okay? Uh, single. Single, um, abundant, okay? Sees your hard work. It's just monitoring you at this time, your work and, you know, seeing you flourish and wants to come in and build with you actually okay this could be somebody else is just wanted to invest in you as a person so let's see uh, pentacles here a lot of money surrounding you like i said a lot of abundance but taurus capricorn virgo yeah you see you have a lot of eyes on you at this time the kite the snail but you know you're just reaping what you you're reaping your benefits yeah somebody's watching you at this time keeping up wow <laughs> Keeping a close eye on you. Yep, Ten of Pentacles. I saw it. Missed opportunity and love. Something. Somebody wants to come back around to you guys. They want to build this empire with you. Again, some of you guys know this person. Hold on, guys. It's like somebody offering their help. It's somebody watching your work, right? Offering, wants to come in and offer their help to help you get to the 10 of pentacles from the nine to the 10, what I was just saying, see? Nine, 10, right? So they're just watching you. They see that you're very loving, very giving, very productive, all right? You're doing well on your own, but this person wants to know how they can come contribute to your success. But there's more to it because this person is obsessed is an obsessed energy this person may already have a lot of money single and abundant themselves and just want to you know see your uh potential see that you are creative so the angel said tap into your creativity now now okay <laughs> all right but um with the three of wands this is also somebody waiting for the perfect opportunity to come in to speak to you Okay. They're waiting for the perfect opportunity to come in to speak to you. They are keeping tabs on you. They are creating fake uh, social medias. They might pretend like they are like one of your friends or try to befriend your friend to stalk you or to just, or, you know, asking around about you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because I see for some of you guys, you're building this leg legacy by yourself. All right. But this person definitely wants to come in to, to help, to assist. They don't want to come empty-handed, okay? Right, <clears throat> right now, you're looking beyond, okay? Because right now, some of you guys are trying to balance out your finances because you guys, scarcity. Okay? So you guys are looking beyond, again, really in deep contemplation of where you want to go and where you want to be in life. Okay, which direction you want to go in. But there's somebody here that is looking at a future with you. What a future could be like with you. Okay, just watching them and observing at this time. But watching and keeping a keen eye on you. You may personally feel eyes on you. Okay. What else? Let me put tower reading back. Lord have mercy. This may be a king of pentacles. It came out fumbled. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to put it upright though. Yeah. This may be a Taurus Capricorn Virgo. <laughs> Judgment again. This may be a Taurus Capricorn Virgo that is already in a family dynamic, a married person that's already, you know, in a family dynamic, head of household, daddy, you know, is unisex, so daddy, mommy, but, you know, somebody that is already in a committed relationship with the Ten of Pentacles here that has, like, a family business, that has children involved, upstanding, looked up to, but with this, with this King of Pentacles coming out fumbled, 
this person is keeping a, a, a close eye on you keeping tap obsessed with you yes catfishing making fake accounts and this person guess what this person is doing this person wants to see that if you're the one the one for them if you're seeing anybody else <laughs> um shit like that and even though they're in another connection this person i feel this person caught feelings for you aquarius however you're minding your business right now it's all about self-healing okay self-development spiritual growth at this time this person came out fumbled because again with judgment they don't know what to do they know they have to make a decision to end things because it's all or nothing with you right you're not going to be taking anybody that's married in another relationship breadcrumbing you you're not going to start this process again this person knows that okay for some of you guys you guys are not in contact with this person okay they're just watching them and observing and creating fake accounts or befriending friends of yours so they could keep tabs on you now this person is grounded this person is wants to be a provider to you wants long term with you they do but in order to do that they can't come in married they have to make a choice here a decision right so this person is is going through their own transformation and making a decision to come in to offer you something big they are they're going to offer you something big and i mean moving in together building together they're going to come with their resume <laughs> i'm not i'm not joking i'm not because they see that you're all about business right so it's like how can i get aquarius back i see that aquarius is all about business and you know this and that and okay you know how can i entice aquarius i, I mean i can't just come in like slinging dick and you know talking about sex and no 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 aquarius is too smart for that because again you guys know this person you guys know this and this is what this person i'm telling you whatever i'm saying this is what is going on in this person's mind listen to me carefully so they're now planning like okay aquarius is about business i can't come in with dick because then aquarius is going to be turned off because i already went that route and they got turned off okay so because this person financially they're not doing well the king came out fumbled but they see that you're doing well so they know if you suspect they're coming in to use you or use you for sex or money out off with their head out of here you're not gonna take that shit mm -mm. you're not you don't give a fuck if you love them or not because some of you guys already healed past this shit some of you guys already healed past this shit see so fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me right you're not going to allow that shit again. And they know it. They know it. So this person had time to observe you. Whatever time, because I feel like you guys haven't been speaking for like a year, 10 months. Because I see a lot of 10 here, 9 months, 10 months, a year. Okay? Just months. Like months to a year. A long time. So they had a chance to really, through that time, you didn't know, but this person was always watching you. <laughs> always but as they were watching you they learned you as well your likes your dislikes what you're going to tolerate what you're not going to tolerate shit like that they know that you're smarter than a fifth grader see so now they want to come in to offer you something big but really and truly this person doesn't have it like that and make sure that this person is not married, still married, and wanted to build with you while still in another connection. Make sure. So let me see what's going to happen with this King of Pentacles. Okay, but definitely this is, this is somebody that wants to build. This is somebody that's in love with you. They want to build with you. Okay, let's see. Obsessed with you. Then I'm going to pick up on this. They're manifesting you as well. And they're getting signs and symbols as well. They are. But they're trying to upgrade for you too. But I see a reunion around New Year's or something in the beginning of next year. Okay? Yes. And it, because this is a mirroring energy. But let's see who this, what this person wants. Really, really. If they come in sincere. Or they're just full of shit. 
because I do see that they want to build with you. Yeah, four wands. They they want a reunion. They want something. They want something long term with you. This again, this person may be married. <laughs> okay. Yeah, judgment concerning a marriage. Ah, uh, concerning a marriage and their feelings for you, and I see them walking away from a marriage to follow their true feelings when it comes to you and this connection. They are going to do it. You are their happiness. You are the star. They're tired of feeling lonely without you. They don't love the person that they're with. They want you back in your... They want, they want to prove themselves to you now, Aquarius. They're building their strength to put the wounded warrior to come to you now, yes, with their cup of love. They're breaking free and coming to speak their truth. Those are not a cycle with somebody else. Walking into their destiny, they love you. Starting off slow with you, rebuilding this nice and slow with you. They want us to take it slow. They don't want to jump in the bed. They don't want to know. They want to take it nice and slow and relearn you all over again. With this Ace of Swords, there's a huge conversation that needs to be had. But this person is going to tell this person, whoever they're in a connection with, how they really feel about this marriage, this connection, and how they feel about you. Because this person had an ultimatum to make between their marriage and you. And their feelings for you. Right? This person... This person more than likely denied their feelings for you at one time. They did. But guess what? Couldn't break this bond. Couldn't. Because they were stuck in a situation. Now they're going to get unstuck. Now the truth is they love you. You are their happiness. The star. They were able to heal. They find you as healing. You brighten up this person's world. They even got your photos, downloaded your photos, everything. You're in the spotlight for some of you guys. You guys are influencers, celebrities. And it's like, damn, look at Aquarius. Aquarius is doing so well without me. See? So this time apart, their love, they understood what happened. Because, again, you guys walked away from this too. As much as it hurt you, you walked away from it, but you were able to heal past it, the star. And you walked into your destiny. Some of you guys need to close out a cycle with someone. But this person, we're talking about this person. But this person is going to close out a cycle and come back to you with their love. And they want to speak their truth to you and express their love for you. This person is possibly younger than you. Let me pull more cards here. This person is going to be complimenting you, complimenting your success, complimenting, yeah. They're not going to know what to do in this situation, but they can't get you out of their mind. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts about you. How are they going to do this? Yeah, justice. This person is possibly going to court. Yeah, with the heart fan. This person is possibly going to court to get a divorce. Wow person get choked up when they see they're gonna get choked up just to come just to talk to you face to face because they want a face to face meeting what they're gonna get like uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yes but they're gonna make the proper they're gonna make the proper accommodations to cut out something first justice go to the legal system and break free of something first before they offer you something long term. They know that you're not going to accept it any other way. And they're going to do it. They are. They are. 
They want to marry you, as a matter of fact. Yeah, no more secrets, no more lies here. Yep, they want new beginnings with you. You see, they're going to let down their guards. No more secrets. They're going to tell you the truth now with the Ace of Swords. Everything that they didn't tell you before or express to you about what happened, why they ghosted you, whatever, they're going to tell you now. And I see moving in together. It's going to start, it's going to slow, move in together, but I see this person wants to marry you. Okay? Just be prepared. Um, and they're going to want you to speak your truth too. All right, let's see who's this. Sexual fantasy. A lot of masturbation going on here. I'll tell you that much. Wow, Nine of Cups, the Sun card. I saw the King of Wands, Three of Cups. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. You're all that this person desires. <clears throat> You're all that this person desires. Hold on, let me blow my nose. Hold on, guys. I have to put my nose ring back on. All right, yeah. This person possibly drinks a lot, overeats, but like the finer things in life. This person loves the finer things in life and they see you as the finer things in life. <laughs> yes, okay? But that, again, you're everything that this person desires, okay? They never met anybody like you before. They want this reunion. They want this celebration with you. They want to accomplish more with you, okay? They want to, yes, they want this with you. And they want they want to procreate with you as well. This person is trying to... This person is trying to get everything in order. When they come to you. Because I see you guys are going to get pregnant rather quickly with this person. Because this person is all about action. They come in confident. They build their confidence for this. Okay? Aries Leo Sagittarius. Heavy on the Leo here. But... With the sun card, this person wants a child with you. And I do see you guys. Some of you guys are pregnant, secretly pregnant by this person. All right? <laughs> Wishing to become pregnant by this person for some of you guys. All right? But with the king of wands, this person is not playing mind games anymore. And I'm going to tell you why. Because the king of wands likes to play mind games, player. Yeah, this person was player, had a lot of options. And you decided to end things. But this person is coming with their whole heart. They love you. They're in love. They fell in love with you. The player fell in love. They can't play with you. See? All right? And with the sun card, you're their happiness. You're their joy. And they want to continue this with you. You make them the happiest. You're the best they ever fucking had. It kept coming out. But, yes, they want a family with you. They, they're they going to come in and pour out their whole fucking heart to you. You're going to look at this person like they're crazy. But don't treat them that way because this person has a hard time speaking about feelings. This person never felt like this before. They're used to playing people, not the other way around. Okay? This person is coming in loyal, dedicated, a provider. Yep. They're getting all their sh shit situated. They're having problems with money at this time, but they're getting themselves situated because they know that there's a possibility of pregnancy when they come in. Because I do see here with Reunion and the Nine of Cups, it's going to be a lot of emotions and sex and makeup sex and love being poured out into this and you know what else being poured out, okay? Or you getting somebody pregnant, but either or. <laughs> Okay, this person is in love. In love. They're not coming back as a player anymore. Coming back stable, grounded, a provider, but their finances is iffy, iffy. 
and they have to close out something first with somebody else before they get to you. 505, 10, huge changes are on the way, but five changes and 10 cycles closing out, baby. Okay, good things are coming, but changes are necessary. Yes, so this test is all about your ch what you need to change internally, okay? Yes, so that way, you know, this soulmate or whoever could come in, them too, but this is about you, all right? New years, new you, new beginnings. Face any fears that may arise and use your time wisely. 51, 51, 6, 6. I told you pay attention to 6. 6, 6, 6 was the number. Look up 6, 6, 6 to see what it, it, it exactly means. But 6 is all about intuitions. You may soon experience temptations and distractions. Take time alone to clear your head and separate from people or situations that could block your ability to focus. Again, cutting those cords, cutting ties with people. Bye. Okay? They mean you no well. They don't mean you any good. I mean... 660 okay 66 again 6060 you may have unfinished business or tasks to attend to reconnect with the divine family friends that project that project you're avoiding or your goals again this is saying that you're avoiding yes chop chop let's go you may have unfinished business or tasks to attend to reconnect with the divine family friends that project you're avoiding or your goals all you need is God in yourself. 909. Take responsibility for, for your actions and choices. So owning up to what you did. That's a, a part of spiritual growth. And, and um, yes, be honest and truthful with oneself. There you go. Accountability and responsibility for your own actions. Excuse me, 99. Be the example for others to follow. Being that leader. <clears throat> 99, we turn it upside down. That's 6-6 six, six again. 909, 6-6 six, six again. 11-11. Don't allow your fears or doubts to hold you back from reaching your destiny. One more. What is this? What have I been saying all this time? <laughs> Spirit always does it. 90-90. This is a blessing in disguise. All will work out for your highest good. What I said. So just keep keep going. I don't know what you're worried about. Right? Okay. You have to learn the lesson. But everything, you're going to be happy with the outcome. Unfinished Symphony. Some of you guys may be musicians out there, play instruments, learning to play instruments, hiding yourself, isolated at this time, not following your intuitions. 10 again. Pay attention to 10. 10 is closing our cycles. A new cycle is beginning. Pay attention to your dreams and goals. But with the full, I look at this as a full, with the full here, new beginnings uh, for you. But working in silence at this time, but unfinished symphony, not complete your projects. It's just giving up, like I said. But let's see. But you're still under development. That's the thing. You're still under development. Okay? I hate this. These cards are all over the place. <clears throat> 36. 36 is 9. Spiritual journey. Spiritual awakening. Uh, yeah. And you have unfinished business with somebody else. Uh, somebody too. They feel like that too. Essential meaning, unfinished business, an incomplete lesson, lack of closure, the need to make amends. 
Again, some of you guys will not give yourself that closure that you need. So you're going to repeat the cycle until it's over, 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 until you release it. Okay? It's going to hurt like hell, but you have to do it. That's how you're going to ascend and pass the test. The Oracle's message. This is a time to tie up loose ends as you near the completion of a cycle or project and mastery of a lesson or skill. Before you can move forward, it's important that you come to terms with where you are now. Practice radical acceptance. Take inventory so that emotional and psychological closure can occur and the answers you seek will be found. You can't move forward if you are leaving things unfinished. Reflect on what has passed so that the symphony can finally end on a high note. Okay? What's meant for you, listen, if you love something, let it go. If it's meant to be, it'll come back. Right? If you're always available for somebody, say like take for love, and they're always abusing your love, you have to cut it. Once they realize what they lost and you give it some time, it may hurt like hell, they'll come to terms if it was meant to be and come back to you apologetic and a changed person because they need to change their self. Right? But change begins with you. Relationship message. Moving on is difficult when love lingers. See? Things are left unsaid and you haven't had the opportunity for closure in your relationship and in your heart. You can still feel bound up in relationships when closure is denied you. It's important to achieve this for yourself. Write that letter, make that call, or have that conversation over a cup of coffee. For peace of mind, accept matters as they are. Make amends if need be. And declare your feelings, even if only to yourself. Be clear about what was left unresolved and close the door on the past so you can set yourself free. Only then can new love blossom. What I was saying. Everything I was just saying. Prosperity message. Make sure you complete projects now before starting new ones. Perhaps you have created something special that will increase your sense of abundance and bring your you opportunities for wealth. However, if you don't see it through, it won't add up to anything but more clutter. That's what I had in my dream, clutter. Like, ugh. Now is the time to put your nose to the grindstone and complete the tasks that have accumulated. Pay your bills, sign the documents, do your filing, hand in an assignment, complete a work of art. Tie up loose ends so you can move forward with surety, knowing you're on the prosperous path and feeling refreshed and excited about the future. Finish your projects. Finish what you started. Protect your message. When unfinished business casts a shadow over your life, it is a reminder that procrastination is a form of self-sabotage. You only hurt yourself. It is not in your best interest to stall. Even stumbling forward is better than holding back. Don't overthink things or let yourself get distracted. Just tie up any loose ends and de deliver the results. Don't quit before the finish line. Spirit wants you to win. And you are going to win. You are. Okay? I'm for the symphony. Okay, somebody has something to say. Because there's an unfinished love as well. I'm going to pull up some cards. Awakening. What I told you, you guys are going through the what? Awakening process. It's never easy. But in order for you to elevate, to ascend, and to go through the transformation and pass the test and obstacle, you have to release but awakening this is you're going through the awakening process energetic upgrades a new way of being integration what this says it says be a, be the example for others to follow so how can you give advice for others to follow if you're not taking your own advice right how are you telling people fuck that bitch and fuck that nigga if you're not doing it yourself see it's going to hurt like hell, but you need to do it. This is all a part of your ascension process. You are being called for more. This is about your life. Fuck love and fuck other people. Okay? But somebody has something to say, so we're going to let them say it. Okay? Let me get a moon card here. Believe in the impossible. Blue moon. Some of you guys' favorite color may be blue. Okay? But blue, you guys are feeling blue. But blue is it is significant for Archangel Michael. Protection, courage, faith, strength. Yes. 
you are well protected. All right, so believe in the impossible. I'm possible, you're possible, right? Okay, all right. So let's see what this person has to say, but there is a karmic around this individual, okay? There's a karmic around you guys as well that you need to let go of because some of you guys are in love with somebody else as well. Anything is possible. But you guys are losing faith and hope. That's what I was saying from the gate. Karmic friends or family are heavily involved. This was in my dream. Yep, a lot of karmic friends, family, too much people in your business. This person may be in a situation like that. My childhood traumas affect how I act as an adult. This person is going through their, again, has having to do with, you know, something that happened in their past that they have to deal with or and how they treat others this person needs to heal i am numb to my emotions i truly feel nothing i watch your social media quite often yeah a lot of stalking going on here And make sure to corrupt your dreams. Yeah, this person doesn't want, yeah, stalking you. They know they got, they're not into them. I saw something, yeah, skeletons coming out the closet. This is the karmic deck. Your significant other may be stalking you or your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Uh, this other person may be stalking you. But if they're in a relationship, they're not into that person. You're not into the person as well. Yeah, they're in a toxic situation mm -hmm. their karmic days are numbered though they know it they're in a toxic family situation but this person is relentless i fight for what i want that includes love mm. but rest in peace i can't believe it's over so they're putting the end to this yeah but this person is going to try to play them with some kids or pregnancy or somebody might try to get you pregnant be careful but or you get somebody else pregnant but yeah, some of you guys are on a toxic roof, but it's time to put it to an end, okay? The person that you with is a narcissist, they don't want to let you go. For some of you guys, checking your social media, seeing who you're seeing, seeing who you're talking to. But a lot of spying going on here. But, yeah, I see somebody else is putting an end to something, okay? All right, let's see what this person has to say. Because music, I'm hearing music again. Uh, music soul child came in my mind um, better better man but it's better it, it, you make this person a better person it, wow okay I understand now yeah you inspired this person you inspired them when they met you it's like they didn't see your qualities but now they're becoming a better person they became a better person because of you that's beautiful. So listen to love songs. I feel drained from this relationship. Yeah, they're going to put it to an end. They want a fresh new start with you. Okay. Up to you at the end of the day. My ex keeps interfering. I told you this person, this karmic is like, I'm working on myself. You, They want to give you the best of them. Okay. You want to give your best to somebody else too, but your ex keep interfering. Okay. I should have told you about everything. Being without you is so hard for me. They was holding back their feelings, their love. They're not proud of the way they treated you. That's sad. They pos this possibly this person possibly didn't tell you about other options they had. They were the player within their own marriage and how you, other people, or just doing shit, you know? Thinking of you drives me crazy. Mm -hmm. I can hear you calling out to me. Yes, I have been spying on you. They're going through their spiritual lesson, I told you. Okay? Yes, they have been spying on you, thinking about you like crazy. They're going through their old spiritual lesson. Again, the Sumerian energy, so you guys are... 
the same soul, it's the same person, the soul connection. But they're they're sorry that they lied to you. Will you take this person back? I don't know, but they've been they've been spying on you like crazy. And they, they could hear you calling out to them. So they could feel your energy as well. And you could feel theirs. But they're thinking about you like crazy. All day, all night. Oh shit, another song. Genuine. All day, all night. <laughs> it just came like that. Okay? So genuine. All day, all night. This person wants to... This person wants to... All day, all night. Okay? You may want to as well with somebody else. All day, all night. Let me put some of these. Yeah, happiness hater. There's somebody here that doesn't want to see this come together. Again, some of you guys may be in a committed relationship. This person may be married, but this their significant other, whoever this is, doesn't want this to come together. This may be a close friend of yours as well. Okay, yeah, broke ass. But somebody's struggling financially. They're up in their head about you. They can't get you out of their head. Yes, somebody's fed up. They're stalking you. They're getting inside school. Okay. Dirty offer came in reverse. So this person knows that they can't offer you, that you're going to sniff the bullshit. So they're coming to make you an offer. But it's in reverse. Dirty offer in reverse. So it's not a dirty offer. Yeah, but they're around a drama starter. You may be around a drama starter, but there's a lot of clowns around you at work. Okay, divination abuser. Some of you guys need to slow down on watching tarot or getting tarot readings. Yeah, some of you guys may be dealing with family issues, like I said. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haunted and bad karma. Again, people are getting their karma at this time. Yeah, you got a wolf and sheep's clothing around you. A lot of them. Okay, a lot of them. Just be careful at this time. Yeah, some of you guys may have a STD or you got a STD or this person may claim to have, you know, but check, okay? But I see you moving on. Thank you, next. Okay, a lot of reflection going on here with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, wow, creeping but moving. Yeah, but people are getting their karma for the way they treated you and what's going on in your life. An offer. Okay. Dirty offer and offer moving. I do see you guys moving. Fuck the drum starters. Stay away from them. Some of you guys may have bad habits that you need to get rid of. Somebody's fed up in a marriage or with somebody else. But somebody's fed up because they know that this person doesn't love them and they love you. Okay bad reputation but this person wanted to sp spread false rumors about you but it got backfired but you're really prickly right now you're not playing with people okay let's see what this offer is this offer may be to move in together but this cup is like we don't know if it's poison right <laughs> yeah somebody's trying to s the emperor this person is coming in hot and heavy, fast. This person is possibly older. This person is having sleepless night. They need to slay their fear to come in towards you. They don't want to come in just sexually, but they want they want it. They want sex. Yeah, four pentacles. This emperor is struggling with money. Okay? They are. They're not happy with where they're at. Especially with love and finances. Okay? Definitely make your fake accounts to spy on you. What else? Yeah. Eight of Wands, they're coming in with communication. They want this reunion. They want it. They want it. They're not going to speak to you about their finances, though. They want to maintain this emperor status. They want you to look up to them like this, you know, somebody that could provide. Yeah, somebody from your past coming back. So now they're up in their head of how you're going to receive them. If they have lack of and they can't provide for you are you going to take them you know they still an emperor but are you willing to build with them you know are you willing to take them with lack what's more important finances or love but they are going to provide for you but they don't have enough to give in you know give to you at this time but they're willing to work on that okay yes yeah they want to collaborate 
three the three and the four of pentacles the seven of pentacles they're trying to figure out a way how to come in and rebuild this connection with or just come up with a plan an idea that you guys could work together on okay yes they're going through their own rebirth transformation at this time yeah 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 whoa wow okay yeah the sun card you are they, this person's happiness they do want a family with you they do want to start over Judgment in the reverse. They feel that they made a bad call when it came to you and this connection, disconnected from you or the connection that they're in. Yeah, this person is in love with you here. They can't get you out of their mind, okay? They can't. And they're really they're really battling within their self. They're going through their own time moment when it comes to you, their feelings, their connection, their marriage, whatever they're in, okay? Yes. This is going to come as a shock to you as well. Wow, fuck. Yeah, they have no love. Oh, wow. Look at this. Okay. They're going to shock a lot of people. They're going to shock you when they confess their feelings for you because the emperor the, the emperor is very stoic. The emperor is Aries. Then I have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the Tower, Scorpio. This person, this is your twin flame. It may have started out rocky because there were too many people involved. Again, you may have worked with this person, been in collaboration with this person. Yes. But this person, although they are the emperor, yes daddy boss they have lack of finances at this time them too with the three of pen three and four pentacles seven of pentacles them too is trying to figure out a way how to come up with a with something to give to you because they don't want to come empty-handed they know that you're not good <laughs> but they're going to provide for you they are this person possibly have kids and, but they're going to communicate this to you but they're scared with the nine of swords they're afraid when they come in with this communication and want to talk about like finance like will you accept them because they're in love will you accept their love and what they have to offer while trying to build this with you or are you going to reject them they're scared of that they're, they're really scared of that and they're fighting they're, they're fighting they're internally fighting with their self and their mind whether they should come in to speak to you about this how they're going to do it but they can't let you go at the same time but it's going to come to a shock for everybody including queen of pentacles <laughs> okay because they feel like they made a wrong decision when it came to marrying this person or being in a relationship with this person okay and they're get ready to close out the cycle with this person and they want to enter a new cycle with you new years new beginnings okay yes they have no love and disconnection anymore they're bored they're discontent they can't grow with this person they're stagnant they're codependent okay yes but they want to rush into you and the lovers but this person had gave them an ultimatum to decide to choose with the judgment to choose between them or you that they rushing into you but it's not only sexual this person is in love with you yes they're hot and heavy for you because they're not sexually <laughs> they're not having sex with this person but they're coming in hot and heavy and they want to rekindle this flame with you they love you okay they love you they're in love with you yes they poured out all their feelings for this person and then all of them and all of all of the feelings is in you. They made the decision. They come in to communicate. They made the decision. The only thing that they're scared about is their finances and how to rebuild this with you. And will you accept them with no money? Like with lack of. Okay? But they're in love. They're scared to say it, but they're gonna do it. They're gonna speak their truth. And if you love this person, you know, money. Because they're willing to build with you and they're willing to be that provider for you. They are. They are. This is sweet. So they're coming with, yeah. They don't have much, but I don't see the devil. I don't see, you know. It's going to take you for shock. It's going to take their significant for shock. It's going to take, yeah. Okay. But we already know they're stalking. There's inside scoop. They're creeping. We already know that. Okay. Uh, let's get to this now. But you, I see you guys moving, moving in together. This person is gonna, is gonna proposition if they, if you guys want to live together to show you how serious they are. 
Okay. Yep. Divine masculine. They're coming in. Possibly a king of cups. Uh, wow. Ace of cups. Can't make this up. This person is in love. Okay. <laughs> this person is in love. Okay. This person has been working out. This person possibly light skin. Dark. Doesn't matter. Nice body, but you know, take care of yourself. Very sexy, very handsome, uh, beautiful. Uh, going through their transformation, they're, they're in love, okay. But this is somebody that's coming in that is emotionally available, and you're gonna fall in love with. This is old and new coming in, like I said. You have choices, yeah. Queen of Cups, they find you to be their perfect match, okay. You, this is this person is a part of your soul tribe. So definitely you are their perfect match they find you loving caring gentle creative beautiful motherly fatherly their perfect match everything that they look for in a person what else emotionally mature supportive they find you to be a, a psychic as well that you can read their mind cancer or mysterious this may be a cancer coming in or a gemini okay Yes, but I do see you guys getting married to this person. But yeah, hidden emotions, but soon are gonna reveal it because King Cups know how to hide their emotions, right? Yeah, this is your soulmate coming in, possibly a Virgo. I did have Virgo in my dream, or a Leo. There was a Leo in my dream, but this person again, possibly known worldwide, trying to connect with you on the 5D, coming in with their communication. It's a lot. Okay, it's a lot. Definitely your soulmate is coming in. <laughs> communication you guys are going to be no worldwide okay no more secrets no more lies that's what i heard hold on guys okay yeah so somebody with a lot of love okay love in love with you your relationship celebration Reunion for some of you guys. New beginnings, fertility, happiness, joy. In love with you. <laughs> In love with you. This person, again, possibly ghosted you or you ghosted them or... But yeah, but this person is feeling lack of and this this person is feeling a disconnect from you. They know that you are theirs and they feel empty without you. They're in love with you. In love. In love. Yeah, but you see they have lack of. But with the five of pentacles and four of pentacles, that's nine of pentacles. Here you go. This person for some of you guys are working on becoming single to come back to you because some of you guys are already single or work or some of you guys are working on becoming single but this person wants to match you this person wants to match you yep new beginnings and they want to work on this connection with you you may meet this person at work or met this person at work but they want to work on this and they're going to put in that work when it comes to this connection and this love to prove to you. They're going to not, they're not going to speak it. They're going to prove to you that they're there for you, that they're supportive, that they're a provider. They're going to prove to you, even though they don't have much to give, they're going to prove to you. And they're a hard worker. They're a hard worker, this person. Very, very hard worker. And they're going to show you. This is beautiful, Aquarius. You're going to fall in love with this person. If you know this person, they're coming back. But some of you guys, there's a totally new person coming in. And with the moon card, is a secret. But possibly a cancer. So some things are hidden for you, from you from now because you guys are still, still got to heal. Okay? So I'm giving you the best that I can at this time to let you know. But this person is head over heels in love with you. In love. Okay? A lot of pentacles here. So you got... Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, you have Aquarius, Aries, and you have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups, in love. And this person is fine, let me tell you. Okay.
rebuilding see rebuilding this relationship some of you guys are uh your your house is under construction or again too much clutter or you just feel like congested okay but rebuilding yourself you see going through the phases stepping out as a new person revamping the star you guys are the star right rebuilding your life after loss and everything is going to be restored didn't i say that Invest in a lot of effort, ready to take action to improve, determination and drive, and this person is coming to rebuild with you. Happiness is on the horizon. Feeling happy about your life, an incident that made you happy, a smoother ride through life, feeling on top of the world. And you and with the world card, cycles closing out, but you guys are gonna be very, very, very fucking successful and abundant and out there. But right now, you're still under construction, round and around. Why? Because you haven't learned the lesson, so you're going in circles. You have to break the chain. Not applying lessons learned. Exactly. So it's like a hamster wheel. You have to cut those cords. Unhealthy patterns on repeat. Unable to let go of the past. Repeating an old story. And, it's, and let me tell you something. Your spiritual journey and awakening could last years and years if you don't cut those ties. And if you don't learn the lesson and cut it and just say, fuck it. Yes. Key. You got the key. To, yeah, some of, I was going to say, some of you guys are between worlds. Some of you guys are going for cosmetic surgery or looking into that. Some of you guys may be nurses, doctors, surgeons. Okay. But between worlds, your term, your term, you're between worlds at this time. Yes, because you're going around and around. The lesson has to be, the lesson has to be learned and completed. Okay. Torn between two paths. Space between the old and the new. Try to balance your two lives in transition. So you guys are in transition because you guys can't let go of the past. You have to cut it. Again, if it's meant to be, it'll come back. But better, better change. You have to embrace this change. Key, you have the key to somebody's heart and somebody wants to communicate with you. Somebody's find, trying to find the right words. Be prepared for an unexpected message, an email, a text, a DM. All right? But definitely somebody is right in their heart and soul to you but doors are opening for you okay opening doors to a better future the key access to what was hidden finding solutions access to previously closed doors now access to previously closed doors now now god the spirit your spirit guides the universe is giving you the key to open new doors but if you're not ready they're not going to give it to you <laughs> but you have the key to somebody's heart as well but some of you guys are dealing with insecurities or a self-image problem that you're feeling not good enough for somebody, but you are. And you is coming in. Your soulmate is coming in. Bam. You are a rare gift. And your angels are with you at this time. But somebody feel that it's unfinished business. <laughs> yeah, because due to a third party, for some of you guys, it was a third party situation. Okay, but this person is cutting it out. Yeah, it was doing a lot of ghosting. Some of you guys may belong to the LGBTQ community. But... You are their missing puzzle piece. You are the key to their happiness. Okay? Soulmates. Well, let me fin read unfinished. Leaving things unfinished. Tying up loose ends. Things left unresolved. Seeing things through. Unfinished symphony. So you have to see it through. You have to. Okay? Soulmates. Harmonious partnership. A powerful love. Soul family groups. A bond that helps you grow. So somebody else is definitely coming in. But if you can't let the past go, how is new going to come in? You're stuck between worlds. You have to let it go. Okay? You have to. It's going to fucking hurt like hell, but you have to do it. Rare gift. A special gift given to you. Seize the opportunities. Unique gifts bring luck and success. The power to attract wealth. You are a rare gift. Act like it. An angel. Some of you guys name me be Angel. But divinely guided, ask for help from your angels. You are protected. Pay attention to the signs and dreams. Stop trying to control everything and let it flow. You're going through the transformation. Manifesting. You're manifesting at this time. But if your mind is everywhere, you're going to manifest what? Negative, you're going to keep manifesting the same cycle round and around until you break it. Manifest new. Manifest your projects and your creativity where, where you see yourself, right? The best way, the best way, the best, the best revenge is success. When they see you successful and prosperous. 
manifesting. You have all the tools you need to increase your income. Good fortune is coming soon. An opportunity may come to you where you can showcase your talents. Some of you guys may be going on a show. Some of you guys may already be like out there. Um, hosts, podcasts. Yeah. Reconsider a decision. Yes. Okay. The rebel. You see? The rebel. Not wanting to change, thinking that you could control it, thinking that no, okay, you you're a trailblazer meant to see things differently and to set a new path for others. Your rebellious spirit makes you a great system buster to teach others a better way. An old belief about money could be preventing you from getting ahead. You are the rebel, Aquarius. Real estate. Some of you guys may be getting into real estate, purchasing a new home, okay, building that home. All right, but. Real estate. Build a solid foundation prior to building several stories above it. Consider a career in real estate, interior design, architect, or any home business. It's time to go back to basics to strengthen your finances. Trust in the process. The universe is asking you to trust your needs will be met. There is a spiritual reason why you're experiencing this cycle. This is a good time to connect with your spirit guides. Oh, fear came in reverse. Yeah, some of you guys may be going through legal actions. Some of you guys may be firefighters out there. Meeting a firefighter, helper came in reverse. You feel like you have no help. Okay, like you're just giving up faith and hope, but you always have help. Beauty, again, network. Start to network and put yourself out there. Okay, and recognition. Wow. I don't know what the fuck you guys, cause, but you can't see it yet with the moon card. You can't see it yet. These things are hidden from you. But beauty, maintaining your beauty, I did see self-image, so improving that. But embrace your unique style and own it. Let the world see who you really are. Some of you guys are fashion designers or getting into that, but just love makeup and you're creative. Tapping into your creative side, getting into the fashion industry, modeling, uh, yeah, whatever that may be. Consider careers doing hair, jewelry, clothing, or any job that enhances of this beauty. Your inner world must match your outer world for things to change. Networker. It may be time to create or reach out to your network of people who will help you. Consider a career in marketing, promoting sales, or any professional networking job. Make the most of the resources you have to improve your finances and recognition. And you're going to do that. You're building your team. You're going to build your team if you network, if you put yourself out there. Okay, you have incomplete projects to do. Chop, chop, my Aquarius. Your money is looking good and solid. Whatever you are working on now will win you the respect of others. Winning awards, let me tell you. You could earn a leadership position or get the rec recognition you deserve. <laughs> Promotion, yes. All of that. Waterfall. Don't go chasing waterfalls. TLC. But waterfall, things are going to be, look, overflowing abundance. Overflowing abundance. Tears of sorrow or joy release. You have to release it for more to come in. Fulfillment. Chasing after something emotional release. This is what this is all about. Okay? Grasshopper. Look, all these cards back to back. Your name may begin with an A, or this person's name may begin with an A. Leap of faith, easy going, don't worry. Moving on, prosperity, so what? A change in direction. Birth of a son and luck, and I do see pregnancy. Some of you guys may be having a son out there or pregnant with a son at this time. Look, fish, some of you guys may be pregnant again. Resources, finance, investments, prosperous, money, income, commerce, multiply, large quantity, lavish, bodies of water, overflowing abundance, and fish, Pisces, this person's name may begin with a K, or your name may begin with a K, or A-K-K-A. Some of you guys may need an A-K, let me stop. Mask, yeah, somebody's not hiding, somebody's hiding who they truly are, they're feeling for you. Disguise, conceal, ego, projection, hidden motive, persona, presentation, theater, performance, putting on a show. Some of you guys may be in theater, okay, Broadway shows, going for auditions, white wolf, 
confidence, guidance, trust your inner knowing, intuitions, instinctual, freedom, believe in your power, willpower, resilience, stamina. Somebody coming in with a lot, a lot of stamina too. Two fell out. I'm just saying. The moon again. The moon again. Intuition. Subconscious, fantasy, romance, psych, affection, recognition, invitation, sensuality, artistic, divine feminine, and divine. Your perfect match coming in. Your twin flame and ring. I do see you guys getting married. Agreement, pact, cycle, contract, partnership, trust, alliance, commit, circular, continuing on, closure, promise, bond. It's beautiful. Assert yourself. Go for what you want. The time is right for soulmate connections. Birth of a child is also likely. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Assert yourself and let me get one of these. And I'm closing out your reading, Aquarius. Your coins. Make it rain, baby. A lot, a lot of money. But your next reading is going to come on uh, New Year's. New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Money coming in, wealth, good investment, career, sales, and finance, getting a raise, lucky. Okay, so, yo, this is your time, all right? But anyway, uh, you're going to see the verse, the Bible verse at the end of this video. I love you guys. I'm possible. You're possible. Your girl, Tosh. I might put, I might throw in a video this week before New Year's. I'm out.